Now, in India, we soaked up spices and traffic jams full of rickshaws and cars and cows, and we saw immense poverty. And side by side, together in the blistering heat, we dug the foundation for a new Free the Children's School. But the, thanks. But the moment, the moment where humility and gratitude would show up again is where we spent our last few days of our trip to India on the highest mountain in the state of Rajasthan called Mount Abu. At the top of Mount Abu, there's a place called Guru Shakar, which is the highest point on the mountain. And there's a beautiful Jain temple at the top. Now, I was ready and eager to climb to this temple. And when I jumped out of the bus, I looked up, and in front of me was over a thousand cement stairs. And just as I was starting to panic, two local men walked by. And they had a wooden pole that they held between their shoulders. And hanging from this pole was a platform with two ropes. It looked like a swing. And they asked if anybody would want to ride up to the temple. And I was like, no way. I get enough attention not having legs, and now you want me to ride up like some sort of Cirque du Soleil performer? There's no way. But that's when I realized this was not the moment to be proud. And if I was going to lead 22 students to the top, I was going to need to ask for help and accept their offer. So they carried me up to the temple. But of course, I refused to go the entire way, and I walked the last 10 steps on my own. <laughs> and when we got to the top, there was a huge brass bell. And we were told by our guide to make a wish and then ring the bell three times. Now, because the bell was so tall, I was too short for it. So I just stood back and I watched the students ring the bell. But as I stood there, one of the participants came up to me. His name was Abby, and he said, Spence, are you going to ring the bell? And I said, oh, no, that's OK. I'm, I'm too short. And as he walked away, I thought, Spencer, what are you doing? When will you have this amazing opportunity again in India? Why not just ask for help? You've never let anything stop you before. What's stopping you now? And that's when I turned to my friend and co-facilitator, Andrea, and I said, hey, would you mind helping me ring the bell? And she said, of course. And we ran over to that bell, and she kneeled down. And I put my arms around her neck, and she slowly stood up. And I grabbed that bell, and I rang it three times. echoed through the mountains, I realized that life wasn't just about being grateful for what we have, but we need to be humble in accepting help and graciously accepting that when it's offered. These men who carried me up the mountain that day, they didn't have much more than the clothes on their backs, but they still had something to give, a ride, which was essential to the success of my journey. And I, in turn, brought 22 students to help build a school in their country. But what I realized in that moment was that obstacles can seem insurmountable when we're tackling them alone. But together, they turn into exciting challenges. Now, what's really cool, when I first joined Me to We, I felt that I had something to prove and that I was going to single-handedly change the world on my own. But I was wrong. Because if you think about it, none of us have gotten here on our own today. It's because of the support of our community and our teachers and mentors that we are where we are today. And we need to be thankful for that community. But not only that, we need to continue to build that community because we're not standing alone. I'm not standing alone on this stage today. I'm surrounded by all of you, my community, my friends, and world change warriors. So, <laughs> thanks. So this summer, come with me and help me build our global community as I go back to Kenya and the Arizona-Mexico border. Because I'm graciously and humbly telling you that I can't do it alone.
As John F. Kennedy once said, when we start to express our gratitude, never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. <laughs>